What's up, boys and girls? We just watched Isle of Dogs. The latest film from Artur Wes Anderson. Isle of Dogs is made with stop motion animation in the same vein as a fantastic Mr. Fox. Now set in Japan, this film follows a young boy in search for his lost dog on Trash Island. <laughs> We get the idea. You're looking for your lost dog spots. Now, as I said before, this movie was made with stop motion animation, and it is definitely the highlight of this film. You don't see a lot of films like this. Now, a lot of the characters, the dogs are animated extremely cute. The human characters are very unique. The way they animate, you know, the tears. Sometimes they go into fights, and in the fights, there's puffs of smoke that come out that that look kind of like uh, white cotton balls. Right, I think it's, they're just, it's just very cute, it's very endearing, it feels good to watch it. And since it is in the same vein of Fantastic Mr. Fox, there is that intricacy to it as well. You know, the set pieces and everything that go into this film, and you can tell it definitely took a long time. I think it was four years since Wes Anderson's last film, which is a pretty lengthy time, but I think it was building this world in Japan with the stop motion animation. With any Wes Anderson film, there's a lot of comedy, like very charming and cute comedy. Mm -hmm. Isle of Dogs is no different. Now, the, one of the funniest parts is when a lot of these dogs in this movie actually speak English the whole time, right. and they actually speak, you know, very intelligently. So you're kind of used to the characters being kind of human-like. Yeah. But the comedy comes from suddenly, they act like dogs all of a sudden, <laughs> and they'll like want a treat or something, and... I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. Exactly. Same right. here. Words out of my mouth. It's kind of like Brian from Family Guy, and how there are a lot of funny moments in that where yeah. Brian is a, you know, a published author. <laughs> like suddenly he'll bark at a, at a car when it's driving by or something. Yeah. You know, just like a lot of cute moments like that come up. Another thing that we really enjoyed about this film is the detail that Wes Anderson and the filmmakers really bring out in every aspect of the film. We talked about animation and the humor that goes into it, and you know kind of harping on that a little bit, the details with all the humor, like small little framing references that you see in the film, like shadows, and then you have all the little different, you know, trash island lore that you, you know, kind of are put in put in place into this movie, and then everything set that's set in Japan, and then the whole hierarchy of the family. All these details kind of make up a great kind of texture for the film. And then you have the backstories of the dogs as well, which really come through in certain parts of the film, and it gives for a very, you know, embracing watch. And you don't feel like you're just watching a cut and dry type of film where it's like, hey, I had a sad upbringing and this and that, this and that. Everything, the humor, the animation, the details kind of play a part equally and then they kind of give you this this fresh outlook on a story now the animation the comedy all the attention detail were on point the thing I felt was lacking from this movie was the story I felt like the story was a little too simple mm -hmm. I felt like the story is you know it could have fit in a 16 page comic book mm -hmm. and that's really what held the movie back I feel like if you had stripped away the you know unique animation style that this had and how much detail was put into it and you kind of animated the same way as you know Aladdin or something or just a regular cartoon this movie wouldn't hold up as much for me I probably would have given it an even lower score but at the same time we can't take away you know the best parts of the movie the gumption, no, you know yeah. I can't take away Joker from Dark Knight and right. I like ask you what was this movie <laughs> what was this movie good like this movie it? still had this I just felt like if this had a better story, a more complex story, and a deeper meaning to the story, mm -hmm. that this movie would be, you know, top of the charts. For my final review for this movie, I gave this a seven mm -hmm. out of 10. I thought the animation was great, like I said before. And I feel like this is a movie you could definitely take your kids to. Yeah. I think it's definitely a movie that you know, hipsters and people yeah. who like Wes Anderson love movies Wes would really love it. This special, this very special type of animation that we don't come across too often. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's a, it's a very, it's delightful to watch this animation. It actually makes me feel you know, kind of warm and makes me feel yeah. good to just watch this on screen. So seven out of 10. For me, I'm gonna go just a teeny bit higher. I'm gonna do a seven and a half out of 10. Um, I definitely liked this film. It was the stop, the stop motion animation was great. Uh, Wes Anderson has a good way of fleshing out characters in a very unique way, charming, humorous way. And that's really what stood out for me. Um, the thing I'm starting to notice with Wes Anderson is that his movies are so stylistic, but they're all stylistic in the same vein. And I'm wondering if that's gonna, you know, looking back, are we gonna think Wes Anderson is one of the great directors because all of his movies look pretty much the same. They have the same framing, they're all very symmetrical, this and that. I think what holds him apart from other filmmakers is the fact that he's able to bring out these really weird kind of stories that you don't necessarily 
see or you know hear about it. And I think that's you know the imagination really working. And that's what I enjoy about his films, like the the symmetry and everything. That's cool. But for me, it's more so like the originality of the story, which I thought the Isle of Dogs did a pretty good job in doing that with the little small details that it did. So yeah, seven and a half out of ten. Well, that was a review for Isle of Dogs. If you've seen it, comment below. Talk about if you liked it or not. And do you like Wes Anderson films? Do you love them? Do you hate them? What do you? What is your take on his style? If you do like him, what's your favorite Wes Anderson film? Please comment below with your favorite. And we'll be back next time with another movie review. We're actually on Instagram also. At Black and Yellow Movies, the same name. And you can keep up to date on everything we're doing. We have everything from short reviews to some movie quotes as well as movie facts. So keep in touch. All right. We'll see you guys next time. What's up, boys and girls? We just watched Isle of Dogs. The Wes latest. Cravens. <laughs> Wes Cravens. <laughs> it's Wes Cravens.